Hello, my name is Sophia. I want to make this clear real quick. I'm not a licensed professional in terms of like cybersecurity or anything like this. I am a somebody that knows a little more than the average person on keeping your computer safe on a way that makes things easier to navigate, gets rid of ads, how to get rid of viruses on a laptop that runs Windows. I don't have too much experience. However, if you are broke college student like me, who likes to watch Severance, but is not gonna pay for Apple TV Plus, I think it's good to stay safe. And I think that so many people complain about ads and they don't do anything about it. They just bitch about it, okay? And if you complain about it, you're giving that company attention, okay? And I think that that's just what they want. So this is how to make, you know, stuff easier, normal, okay? This is how your computer should be usable, convenient, and I don't want to see really weird ads, all right? I remember the days pre-ad blocker when there was a oh, weird Among Us, like, knockoff games and big butts and stuff. So if you're, like, a parent and you want to keep your kid from seeing stuff that's just weird sexual AI stuff that's just not good for a kid to see in ads or that can be very exploitative, I encourage you to use this as well. So, first off, this is something... This will not take too long. I would say this would take 30 minutes max if you want to keep everything as safe as possible and make things as usable as possible and block as many ads as possible. Um, first off, what you're gonna do, if you have Google Chrome, you might want to keep that, but don't use it, all right? You want to download the search engine, or not the search engine, the browser Firefox. Firefox has recently, it used to not track or sell your data as much. It has now. Uh, I've heard that LibreWolf is a good uh, alternate alternative. However, I have not downloaded it. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I know the most about Firefox. And I know that there are some extensions that block ads that are not available on Google Chrome, but are available on Firefox. So I'm gonna focus specifically on these extensions and what you can do to make your user experience easier. So these are the extensions I have to block ads specifically, and one that uh, prevents tracking, or will at least give me a notification. One important detail, if you download these extensions, and this is a big selling point for Firefox in my opinion, if you have these extensions on your computer, they will also apply onto your phone. So my phone blocks all ads that I see, I would see, because of the extensions I have downloaded, which is really good because I read a lot of articles and like gaming articles. And there are, that those websites are 50% ads, okay? And it loads and I'm like, okay, I'm scrolling through and then brrr, all of a sudden I'm yanked down by five images of big titty women, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to keep this more appropriate so that everybody can benefit off of it. I apologize. So these are the ones I have on Firefox. I don't know if they can be gotten on Chrome, but I encourage you to at least get Firefox for now because let's be honest, you're being tracked on Google Chrome too anyway, because they will also keep you safe on your phone. Uh, right now for YouTube in particular to block ads, not that I would ever do that. There is ad blocker for YouTube TM and unhook. Those are the names of the extensions. I'm going to say that one more time. Ad blocker for YouTube TM. It's got an orange shield with a gray play button in the middle and unhook, which is kind of a circle. It's got a gradient red thing and it's got a play button in the middle. I know this might sound very self-explanatory, but I have been in a situation where somebody has told me, hey, do this. This is really helpful. And because the instructions aren't clear enough, I get lost. Um, I have ADD, so I'm trying to make this pretty easy. Um, Malwarebytes Browser Guard, uh, in, in terms of ad blockers in general, I have that one at Malwarebytes Browser Guard. It's got like a weird M logo. Adblock Plus looks like a stop sign with the A, B, and P on it. There is also Ublock Origin. That's also a red shield. I highly recommend Ublock Origin. There, I've found out recently that there is a way to block the AI overview when you look things up on the search engine of Google Chrome, because let's be honest, that's probably the one you're going to use unless you're using like something else like DuckDuckGo. Um, you can 
adjust it so that it will block that. I don't know how to do that yet. I literally found out like half an hour before I'm planning to record this. And privacy badger, which is the image of a little badger head. And it will give you a notification when things are tracking you. It prevents that. And it will also help ads. Now, you might notice that I have like four different extensions. And that is because I like to be safe rather than sorry. And sometimes the hole that can't be plugged by one extension will be plugged by another. And in terms of the YouTube ones, obviously they are probably redundant, but I don't care. Again, say, rather safe than sorry. So those are the extensions that I have. I highly recommend them. I think that we as users of the internet use it so much. It is really an essential thing that for our experience to be interrupted, to be to, to be preyed on is, it should be illegal. And I'm going to say that. And I'm going to, real quick, I'm going to shout out and I'm going to link Louis Rosman's. I really hope that I pronounced that right. Yeah, Louis Rosman. He's my goat, all right? He has tens of years more experience than me on a lot more platforms. I'm going to link his YouTube video. Love you, dude. You are the best. And... He is, he provides a very easy way to, for people to understand that you deserve to be respected and to not be preyed upon by the companies that you use, the products you use from them. And um, he has a lot of stuff in terms of right to repair, which is basically just, I want to buy these parts to fix my thing instead of paying $800 for you to fix it for me when I could just buy it myself, which is what I did for my Joy-Cons. And then I caused a new problem, so that's on me. <laughs> I also fixed my old phone. I replaced the battery and the screen just stopped working. So I highly recommend him. But again, we are baseline here. I This is just your average college student again. That's literally me, although I would say I'm above average in every way possible. But anyway, those are the extensions in terms of tracking and stuff. I'm going to touch on viruses really, really quick. Again, this is not professional advice. This is what worked out for me. Let's make that clear. I'm also going to touch on stuff that will not work with Apple. So let's get to it. I have used Windows my whole life. And in high school, I did not have the money for subscriptions and my family didn't pay for them a lot. <clears throat> so I resorted to other means. Obviously, I'm a law-abiding citizen now. But I would, you, I would, I've gotten three viruses on my old laptop, which was a Lenovo smart pad. And uh, it was the same one three times. And I think that just the same process, deleting it over and over was what worked. I'm not, I'm not showing stuff on screen because I'm recording these one off. I've been doing these kind of yap sessions, but this one's more informative, but I, my editing software isn't working, so whatever. Da Vinci, please get back to me. Please. I need individual help. I can't go onto your help site. Everybody talks like they have five years more experience than me. I don't understand what's happening. So let's move on. Right. What you're going to do, you're going to want to go to task manager, the app. You can look it up in that little search bar on your laptop. Again, I'm for computer. I'm assuming you're using windows and it will pop up real easy. It's an app. It's nothing hidden. And when that happens, it shows every program that's running, how much memory it's taking up and how much processing power it's taking up on your computer. These are not the official technical terms. I'm trying to make this simple to understand. Now, when that happens, you're going to want to scroll all the way down and be like, okay, what's taking up a lot of memory? What's taking up CPU, which is the processing power? Again, I'm sorry if I get anything wrong. Uh, and you're just going to scroll by and you'll be like, okay, what is taking up a lot? And if there's anything that doesn't say like service host, Windows, client server, a uh, system, <laughs> then you're going to want to take a look at that. You're going to right click it. And there will be two things that you're going to want to pay attention to. End task and open file location. Now, what you're going to want to do, open up the file location, look through it, see where it is see what if there's anything that hints to it being an official thing that helps your computer run we do not want to delete any of that okay better safe than sorry if you think yes i think that this is suspicious give it a look see look it up okay 
Maybe look it up on your phone, if possible, just so your computer doesn't go, what are you doing? You're trying to kill me. You're trying to kill me, right? The virus says that, right? But you've got 100% confirmation. You're like, okay, I think this is sus, okay? What you're going to want to do, go to file location. That'll, again, see where you're at. And you're going to want to end the task. Now, in uh, Task Manager, one thing that's very important, a lot of these programs are set to stay, right? They're like parasites. And a lot of the time they'll be like, oh, but the program is running, so you can't, like, delete us. You can't get rid of us. Um, I'm going to slaughter you on live television. So, back in Task Manager, you're going to want to right-click and then End Task. And... By doing that, it might ask for uh, administrator access. You can give that. You are the administrator. Boom. It's gone, right? It stopped running. Now, open that file location up. Lickety split. I have 3% on my phone. I got to make this quick. Maybe I could just charge it. Hold on. All right. We're going to do the... Stop flickering at me. Like, literally stop. We're just going to take a little intermission. Okay, we're so back. Sorry about that. Again, this probably seems very unprofessional. I can promise you this is what has worked out for me. This is not professional advice. This is not something that's going to work for everyone possibly. But so many of my friends are like, oh, I hate ads. I hate ads. God, they suck. Um, you know, there's a lot of kids that end up clicking on suspicious links just because, whoa, I'm 11. I've never seen tits that big. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this a little bit more family friendly. Um, that's really me on my phone before, before I had um, <clears throat> a certain version of YouTube. Um, if you know what I mean, I'll talk about that later. Uh, there was really just weird ads that were AI. I'm an artist, so I don't like seeing that. And they were just weirdly sexual to the point where I was like, this feels like the Elsa Gate thing all over, over again. Uh, if you're looking for a not great time, look that up. But you're going to end the task, and then you're going to delete that folder. Go to your trash, and boom, delete it forever. Again, I had a virus, and I did this three times over the span of like a month because it came back and then it went away. Sometimes I think it's just like, well, if we keep trying, they'll give up. You need to not give up, all right? If there's anything that I could emphasize in this video, do not give up. People need to stop being apathetic about the fact that their browsing experience is horrible, all right? You, you can't give in, all right? You make people's money. You make companies money and you need to remind them of that, all right? Okay. And this takes like half an hour, all right? Not counting the virus stuff. So again, not legal advice. Now, if you have a Mac or another Windows, oper another operating system such as Linux, I don't have experience on, I'm assuming that this would work similarly. However, if you have an Apple product, this will not work. I know that because I tried to delete a virus on my friend's computer that just kept popping up notification would close out of things randomly. That's what would happen on the virus on my computer as well. I had isolated the virus. I found it in its file location and it would not delete. It didn't matter that I'd stopped running it. It didn't matter. It would not delete it. And I know that Apple's biggest thing is privacy, but I think that that is false when you can't let me protect myself and I would have to hit up your customer service, and then you would charge me so much money to do that. Maybe I don't, maybe I wouldn't, but I don't like the way that Apple operates in terms of that. Also in terms of physical repairs, Lewis Rosman actually, I was aware of him years and years and years ago from some Pinterest screenshotted post on Tumblr that was him saying, I tried to repair this Mac, and I was gonna be charged all this money because all the screws are different sizes, this is intentionally hard to do. I respect his approach to right of repair, and I respect his approach to being like, this is your stuff. Nobody has the right to make this unusable. Now, the last thing that I'm going to touch on is a version of YouTube that is, it's revanced, okay? Can we put the words together, the word I said in YouTube, all right? It is an 
there are instructions online on how to get it. But it is a way to watch wherein everything, all ads are blocked. You can skip sponsors and videos. Obviously, if you want to, you know, support the creator, you can go back and watch it. Um, put it on mute. But it does that. It can remove shorts, which you cannot do a lot. You can block them over and over and over again by being like, I don't want to see shorts. But they will keep popping up. And for somebody that's trying not to doom scroll like me, that's not good. Okay? Because I specifically did this to get rid of you. And you're not going away. All right, and also the stupid YouTube games. Why are those even there? They're stupid. Uh, there are instructions on the official website for this revanced app, and I follow them to a T. They are very, very, they're very easy to understand, and it has worked. I've done that. My friend did this for me. Thank you, girl. Uh, I did this for my boyfriend, and it is incredible. The difference it makes because I got a new phone after that and it didn't have this downloaded onto it and uh, I was struck with how terrible it was genuinely we're talking like minute long ads that if I didn't skip could have been up to 30 okay there were so many ads in in my home feed, there were so many shorts, and you don't realize how bad it's gotten until all the bad stuff is removed, okay? And that's how I feel about a lot of this. This feels like when it comes to browser usability, it genuinely feels like slowly boiling frogs, okay? Obviously, your average consumer is going to be like, oh, I'll just put up with it for a little bit. They're not like me, who is so habitually stubborn. It got me in trouble numerous times as a child, Okay. That's okay. But at one point, it's like, if you allow this to get worse, then what's your kid going to have to put up with as a kid? All right. They're probably going to be intentionally exploited. And I don't want that for any kids. I don't want that for any adults. And it annoys me when my friends are like, ah, I don't need to download an ad blocker though. And they complain about it every five seconds. It's like, yes, you do. Yes. This would be so much easier for you. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is your mission. Get those extensions I detailed. Get that browser, get that app. And if you have a virus, maybe try to delete it the way I explained it. Um, yeah, uh, look up Lewis Rosman. He's really helpful. He's a great resource. He does, uh, he has a lot more information. He actually has a video that's like how to live an open source life. I still haven't watched it, but um, it's very useful the rest of all his videos and uh yeah I, I also recommend this if you have like a younger sibling or you're like a parent of some kind a babysitter I don't know because kids are influenced by what they see and I don't think that it's like oh we have to keep the youth like oh we have to save them we have to you know protect them from every single evil because that's impossible but these are evils that are built into a system and we know how to remove and we know how to make your kids not think that this is normal for women to be constantly sexualized in AI images and ads to make you play some dungeon crawler or something, right? Or to play knockoffs of their favorite games. And so that, you know, you aren't tracked, your data isn't being sold, you might not think that's a big deal, but it's like, well, now everybody, everybody knows your name. Now all of China knows you're here, okay? And uh, it's private information. It's technically illegal. I think don't try don't quote me on that anyway that's what i wanted to say um uh, my name has been sophia and um i hope that this is useful for you this will take not a lot of time and i wish the best for you this is how you get rid of ads and everything else so bye <laughs>